Hello all, welcome to another session on Java programming. In this session, we are going to see how to serialize and deserialize an array of objects. In our previous session, we have seen how to serialize and deserialize one specific object using object output stream and object input stream classes. So this session is an extension of that session. If you have not visited that session, please visit that first and come to this session so that you find the concepts discussed in this session easy to understand. Okay, now let's go to the demo. Okay, this is a demo on serialization and deserialization of an array of objects. For this demo, I'm going to use this uh, class called employee and this class will implement a serializable since we are going to serialize all the objects of this class to a file, so this class will implement serializable. And I'll have some data members of this class like name, employee ID, and uh, address, some data members. And we'll also have a parameterized constructor here. We'll generate that parameterized constructor. So this will be used for initializing the objects uh, of this class. So my class is ready. Next, what I'm going to do is create an array of employee objects. I call this array to be E and uh, I'll hold two objects in my array. We'll just uh, focus on two objects for time constraint. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the user enter the data for my employees. So we'll have a sysout statement and then we'll say enter the employee details. So for getting the details, we need a scanner object. So let me create a scanner object. So it's uh, called input and uh, system dot in. Now I'm going to read the data for both the employees inside a for loop. So for int i is equal to zero, i less than array length, i plus plus. First we'll read in the name next the employee id and then the address and we'll have some local variables to hold the name employee id and address entered by the user we'll have a sysout statement here we'll say enter the employee name and uh, we'll get the name here that is input dot next line the next one is uh, we'll have a sysout statement and then say enter the employee id we'll get that in employee id so this is uh, input dot next line so we have written the name we have written the employee id the final field we have to read in is we have to read the address so we'll say enter the employee address and address is equal to input dot it's dot next line so after reading the data for the first employee what we have to do is we have to uh, take the reference in the first index. So we will go to the reference in the first index. We will make it point to an object on the heap. We will call this a new employee object and then we will pass the data for the employee name, employee ID and address. So in the first iteration, the reference will be pointing to the first employee object. The next iteration, the element in index one will be pointing to the next employee object on the heap. So we have read in and we have created two employee objects. Our focus is now to write these employee objects to a file. We have to serialize these employee objects to a file. So let me now go and create an object of type object output stream. So we'll have this object output stream and uh, the object we call that as obj out and object output stream uses a file output stream and uh, the file to which i'm going to write all the objects i'll call that satish.text so we're going to serialize all the employee objects to this uh, file satish.text next what we'll do is we'll use this object of type object output stream and then we will write all the objects to the file. So it's uh, obj out dot write object. 
and we'll pass the objects. So we are serializing all the employee objects to the file here. After this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write an object of another class called end of file class. This object will be acting as an end of file marker for me. So for this, I'm going to use a new class. I'll create a class called end of file. And uh, I'm, I'm also going to write this object to the file. So this will also implement serializable. So what is the use of the object of this class? It's going to act as an end of file marker. So I'm going to keep on reading employee objects until I reach the end of file object. So after serializing all the employee objects, I'm going to write the end of file object too. So that is nothing but new end of file. So this object will act as an end of file marker for me. After writing all the objects, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the screen. So we have finished serializing all the objects. The next step is we have to deserialize the objects. We have to read the objects from the file and we have to display the data for these objects. So for that, we will use this object input stream. So we'll create an object of type object input stream. And I call this object as obj in. And this uses a new file input stream. So it uses an object of type file input stream. And from which file you are going to read the object? It is from satish.txt. This is the file where we have written all the objects to. So we are going to read the objects back from the same file. And uh, how we are going to read the objects? So I'm going to read the objects one by one from the file and map it to a variable called object. So let me create this variable object, which is of type object. So every object that I read in from the file will be mapped to object. So I'll read all the objects using an while loop while object is equal to how will you read in an object you have to use the object of type object input stream so we'll do object input stream dot read object so this reads every object and that is getting mapped to object and i'm going to check instance of end of file is equal to false. So what I am performing here is I am reading every object and I'm mapping it to object until I reach an end of file object. If I reach an end of file object, I'll terminate the while loop. If it is not an end of file object, then I'm going to print the data of the objects. So I'm going to just print object and I have to typecast everything to an employee object because I'm reading in employee objects. And I have to display the data members here for the employee object. So it's going to be the entire object dot and we'll display name. And then we'll also display the other properties for the employee. So we'll have this employee object, which in turn has this data member called employee ID. And also we have another data member here that is address. Okay. So we are reading in object by object, mapping it to this variable, which is of type object. And we will perform this until we don't uh, reach this end of file object. If the object we read in is an instance of end of file, then we terminate this while loop and we come out. And then what we have to do is we have to close the object input stream. Now let us run this code. Let's check whether this one really works. So we have to write data for two objects to this file and it should display us back those two objects. Let me run this. So we'll enter employee name. Let me enter my name Satish. Employee ID 111 and address we'll say Mumbai. And the next employee RAM, employee ID 112, and employee address is say Vellore. So 
these objects will be serialized to the file and now we are going to read the data back from the file and display the data of those objects. So whatever data you are seeing here was deserialized and uh, the data for both the objects were read back and displayed here. The only thing is we have created another class called end of file class and uh, we made an object of type end of file and we use that as an end of file marker for us while we are reading the employee objects. I hope you are now clear with how to serialize and deserialize an array of objects in Java. Thank you.